show. The business podcast is like the greatest hits album, all the funk and none of the junk with our daily 10 minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. You can check us out at 100mba.net. And today's catchphrase comes from Kelly Matul. If you want to send in a catchphrase that I can uh, shout out here on the show, just tweet at me on Twitter. Biz Republic, B-I-Z Republic is my handle. Or you can email us at contact at 100mba.net. And today's episode is a must-read episode where I share with you a book that I highly recommend and that has influenced our business. I give you some of the insights and tell you how it can influence your business and your journey as an entrepreneur. Today's must-read is Entre Leadership by Dave Ramsey. If you're looking for a book that can give you some really good fundamentals when it comes to leadership as an entrepreneur, this is the book to read. I'm going to get into some of the insights as well as some of the backstory of how I got to know Dave Ramsey and how I got to know his work with Entre Leadership. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Today's episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by HostGator. HostGator is our preferred hosting provider because they got 24-7 live support via chat, phone, and email. They can help you out any time of day. They have one-click WordPress installs, an easy-to-use website builder. They have design services, marketing services that can help you with your SEO and pay-per-click campaigns. And best of all, they're giving listeners of the $100 MBA show a 30% discount. All you got to do is visit HostGator.com slash MBA30 to get hooked up with that 30% discount. That's HostGator.com slash MBA30. A bit of backstory about Dave Ramsey and Entre Leadership. I got to know Dave Ramsey and his work with Entre Leadership when his team invited us to be special guests at his live event in May. This just happened this past May. And the live event is called Entre Leadership. It's a four-day event, and it's all about leadership for entrepreneurs. A bit about Dave himself. At the start of this book, Entre Leadership, as well as the start of the live event, he mentions that he is a religious Christian. And faith is a big part of his life, and therefore it gets incorporated with his work. Now, he kind of just puts it out there like a disclaimer that you will hear me say the word God. You will hear me quoting verses from the Bible. Now, regardless if you are a Christian, if you are a person of faith, if you believe in God or not, there are a lot of things you can learn from Dave and his book. And one of the things a smart entrepreneur knows is that they can learn something from anybody, regardless of how different they are. So I want you to keep this in mind when you read Entre Leadership. And with that said, it's not a very overt, it's not a religious book. It's a book about leadership for entrepreneurs. And whether you believe in what Dave believes in, there are things you can learn from the examples he presents. Now, let's get into the book. He starts out in the book by explaining the word Entre Leadership. And it's a combination of entrepreneur and leader or leadership. And he feels like there needs to be a word that deals with the leadership of entrepreneurs because it's a different type of leadership. The leadership of a politician is different from the leadership of an entrepreneur, and that's why he created this book and actually the whole system of entre leadership. So in the book, he starts out by stressing the importance of having goals or having a vision. Leaders have visions, but in order for that vision to be fulfilled, you have to have concrete goals that are measurable. This is something very important as a leader in a business. Having very vague mission statements do not help anybody. You have to have very clear mission statements so people know if they're on track or not. So for example, if you have a software company, your mission could be very specific, like we would like to have 5,000 users by the end of 2016. He also goes into the management of time management and organizational management. Because as you grow as an entrepreneur, you start hiring people, you start growing your team, You need to lead them by example and also show them how your business runs. He then gets a little bit deeper and talks about how to make hard decisions as a leader in a business. This is a very, very important chapter that I really think that you should really maybe read over a few times because it talks about how do you make these tough decisions? How do you make the trade-offs that you need to make in order to have your business be in the right place? If you're not making tough decisions in your business, then you're probably not going to be successful. There are sacrifices that need to be made, and it's your job as the leader of the business to make those decisions. 
And it's also your job to lead others to make those decisions. So if you have managers in place, you have to make sure they're empowered to make these tough decisions. One of my favorite parts of the Entre Leadership book is that he talks a lot about hiring and firing your staff members, how to find the right talent and how to let go of people when they're not working out. And this is something that is really, really refreshing in a book because it's very practical. And a lot of it has to deal with the personalities that are on your team. Are these people congruent with the personality of your business, the way you want to do business? And sometimes they're not, and that's when you have to let them go. Another area that Dave focuses in the book is the art of selling by serving. And this is something that we talk about a lot here on the Hunter MBA show is serving your audience, being of service and having that long-term view. If I serve my customers and treat them the way you want to be treated, then you're going to win in the long run. And as an entrepreneur, you're always shooting for the long run. You're always planning for the long run and making sure that you're doing the right things now so it serves you later. There are other topics that Dave really goes through in this book including finance for your business and managing that, and as well as managing the people that you manage. There is very little fluff in this book, and I want to kind of wrap up those insights by telling you that this book is very, very practical. You can take what he says and put it into your business right away. It's actually a very easy read, and it's very easy to get through. And actually, you don't feel like you're getting through it. You're actually enjoying the process. So I really compliment Dave for writing such a great practical book. Now, for us, Nicole and I, as entrepreneurs, how it's influenced us, it's influenced us greatly because it allows us to really highlight the importance of leadership. Sometimes when you start a business, you forget that that's part of your job. You start growing, you start hiring, and you're forgetting, oh, I got to lead people. And you got to take action. You have to be intentional about it because if you don't give them guidance, they are going to get guided by something else, by time, by circumstances, by other forces. And by reading this book, it allowed me to kind of sit back and think about what can I do to be a better leader for our business? Because I want to guide this business, guide the ship in the right direction. Guys, I got more on this book, Entre Leadership, today's must read. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. Guys, did you know that HostGator not only is a great hosting company with 24-7 live support, but they also offer design services. So if you want to do a website design or redesign, They can hook you up with a great designer so you can get started right away. They also have great marketing services to help you with your SEO and pay-per-click campaigns. You basically can do everything you need for your business website with HostGator, including registering your domain names and getting SSL certificates. We use HostGator for every website that we have, the $100 Bay and Webinar Ninja, and you can get started with an amazing discount. HostGator is hooking us all up with 30% off. Go to HostGator.com slash MBA30 so you can get that discount. That's HostGator.com slash MBA30. As an entrepreneur, leadership is something you just cannot run away from. It's something that you're going to have to embrace. Even if you're a small online business, you're going to work with other people. You're going to outsource projects to programmers, to designers. You need to know how to lead these people and give them instruction in a way that is suitable for them. At the end of the day, leadership is everywhere you turn when you're an entrepreneur. And if you want to get a good grasp of the fundamentals, I highly recommend you read Entre Leadership by Dave Ramsey. If you want a link to the book, you can just check out today's show notes. If you're on your iPhone, you can just click on the cover art. You'll see all our show notes. If you're on your computer, you can just go to 100mba.net slash mba303. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. Guys, if you love the must-read episodes, if you think they're great, if you enjoy them, let us know in an iTunes rating and review. If you're on your iPhone, just click on the cover art. You'll see a link that says give us a rating and review. If you're on the computer, just go to 100mba.net slash show. We'd love to hear from you. We read every single review, and it really pumps us up when we read each one of them. Here's a review from Sanchez650. Sanchez says, love Q&A weekend. Five stars, great way to connect with your audience and your advice is right on target. Keep them coming. Thanks, Sanchez. Thanks for that awesome review and thank you all for all your support. You are the reason why we keep pumping out an amazing episode every single day. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. Leadership is something you're going to learn 